That's right, it's been a very long time since we have done this in the house. I think it's been about over a year. But yes, I have made a decision. Today, we are gonna do a fish fry. That's right, fish fry. That's just for that stuff. But fish fry, that's right, fish fry. We are gonna do some Cajun catfish. We'll do it up in the house the right way. Stay tuned. I'll show you some things I'm gonna be doing to get it right, and yeah, we're gonna come back in a minute. All right. So right here we got the three eggs. Right here, I decided to use a uh, seafood bread mix. New Orleans style, of course, fish fry. Put my own seasoning in it. I put the garlic and onion powder. Um, so, onion powder in there. Put some garlic powder. So, I decided to add like my own little herb into it. That's all I was gonna add. I don't wanna add no salt, pepper, and all the extra. And then, right here, we got the, the catfish. So, I got two pounds worth of catfish. This is Cajun catfish. Um, got it down here. In Delaware, so they have a good variety of selection, and of course my oil went with the pure vegetable Crisco. Had to go with the old school. So and besides that, we about to get to it. Bay is going to be making some cheesy broccoli rice. So when she does her part, I'm gonna record a little bit and have her give instruction. But stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how we get down on this fish fry. <laughs> chicken bone broth because it has a lot of collagen in there and we want to look youthful so that's in there simmering with um, some tomato chicken bouillon and then I got garlic powder and onion powder that I put just a tiny bit in there because we already got a lot of sodium from the catfish um, from the seasonings and stuff like that so once that cut or once that's finished um, boiling a little bit and um, it's kind of ready. Then I'm gonna chop up my fresh broccoli, not frozen or canned. Fresh broccoli, rinse this off, chop it up finely, mix it in there with the cheddar. And then I'm gonna cover it a little bit more just for it to like all incorporate, get those seasonings and flavors to marinate and marry each other. And then we'll come back when it's finished. 
Hey, real quick, I know we don't advertise alcohol on this channel. All I'm gonna say is that if you ever want to have a, a beverage that is decent, it ain't gonna make you feel like, why am I doing this to myself? Try vanilla Coke with whatever cognac or whiskey you choose with a drop of lemon juice. That's all I'm gonna say. But anyway, let's get back to this. All right, so, so look, Baden made the, the cheesy broccoli. Ooh, ooh, see, damn, did it, did it got the camera on. Baby made the, the food, the cheesy broccoli rice. That thing look good. That's one. Of it. That's the final product. She pretty much letting it get the last little simmer down, and then we gonna mash out on these plates, and then we gonna call it a night. Baby, you did a good job, Bob. I see the, the rice, it smells divine. You're welcome. You said what? <laughs> but yeah, so, be back shortly to show you how these plates look. I'm gonna tell you how they taste, because I already know how they gonna taste, but I'm still gonna give you some type of, you know, a review. How you think it's gonna taste? Good, I just popped it. It tastes good? Hold on, record me. <laughs> I could, let me sample. But the broccoli is not soft enough yet, so. Kind of like taste it? Yeah, but it still has to like steam the broccoli in. It's still hard, but it was really tight. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and try this real quick, just. Let me get a little bit of it right there. Let me. First of all, I'm not being biased because she's my wife. But I will say, my wife can throw down this damn kitchen. That, that is actually good. Yeah, this is gonna be a bad meal for me because I'm about to pig out, so. Judge me, I don't care. But, that's I've been informed also, to inform you guys. She put some milk in the rice for the consistency. So, I can taste it too, because it complements the cheese a bit. I'm not gonna lie, it does. Overall, she did a phenomenal job, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I haven't had cheesy broccoli rice in a minute, so. Well, broccoli, cheese, and rice, as people would say, but cheesy broccoli rice. So, stay tuned, be at you in a minute, and give you the final review, and show you how the plate look, and that will conclude our fish fry, for the fish fry vlog. I'm so sad. Might even let little mama tell you what she think of it. No, no, y'all weird. Some of y'all weird out there, so no. But stay tuned, I'll tell you something in a minute. You know? God tell that there be food. This is the final product. You see the catfish? You see the broccoli cheese rice? That, that thing look all right. That thing look all right. Decent as hell. But I already know it's gonna taste immaculate. So, another one in the books. Thank y'all for watching the video. We are about to dog this. I'll tell you right now. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that part. All right, man, make sure y'all watch the videos. Like, comment, subscribe. And if you ain't joined the family yet, you already know what that is. It's tough. Make sure you check my recent video before this one. Um, my chicken sandwich challenge. Make sure you watch that because it's a special giveaway in there. Go by those instructions and if you wanna win, just make sure you follow the instructions that I provided. Other than that, man, thank y'all so much. Again, I'm sorry about my hiatus. Life happens, but I'm here again. I'm here, I'm here. Don't worry, I'm here. All right then, peace.